Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to troubleshoot a mobility scooter transaxle motor assembly. Before we get started, I wanna mention two very important things. Number one, if you want a copy of our brand new product catalog, all you have to do is go to our website, www.mobilitydirect.com and click on the button at the top of every page. It's a green button that says free catalog. Just fill out that simple short form and one will be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into our giveaway and we give away a free mobility scooter once a month to a lucky random subscriber. So you're already here. What are you waiting for? Just hit that button and you could be the next lucky winner. I'm going to throw the last winner on the screen so that you can see it's legit and we'll be right back with you. All right, we're here. We're pulling up to the... Uh, lucky winner's apartment building and we're going to bring the scooter up to her door and we're going to get the reaction on video i'm pretty excited this is awesome i mean we're giving away a mobility scooter to someone that truly needs it so stay tuned we're going to go up the elevator it's on the third floor and we're going to present this custom scooter to the winner oh i like that oh thank you you like the scooter we're giving this I was going to say, you look like you can run a marathon. You don't need a scooter. No. We're actually giving this one uh, to one of the residents here on the third floor. It might be your neighbor. Yes, yeah, sure. they entered into a giveaway raffle and they won. That's why we're getting it on camera. Exactly. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy for you. Hello. It's good to meet you. Oh, God bless you. So, I'm just we're here with petition. Gloria, and she's got her scooter that we're donating, and all she did was subscribe to our YouTube channel about a year ago. <laughs> I said it's a godsend that I got this. It's a miracle, really. I needed it desperately. Well, it's, it's something we're really happy to be able to do, Gloria. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate those kind words. and. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is subscribe. This is what we're doing here every six months. So if you know somebody else that could use one, please tell them about it. All right, welcome back. And hopefully you've subscribed. Good luck to you if you did. Now let's get started. Now, a couple of things you need to know. Number one, here I have a transaxle motor that's made specifically for a Pride Mobility Revo 2.0 scooter. And I mention that because every motor is different. Now, some scooters use the same motor, so there are other models that use this same motor, but you need to check with the manufacturer or your dealer. If we're not your dealer, you can call the manufacturer to try and find out the exact rating for the motor that you'll need to know in order to test it to see if it's working, and you'll need a multimeter. A multimeter is a must-have tool if you're troubleshooting mobility scooter parts. Every technician should have one. You should know how this works if you're gonna even begin to attempt to troubleshoot parts like this. I don't recommend doing it if you're not a technician, but this video is there just to educate you if you're curious. So on our multimeter, what we want to do is test resistance. So we're gonna zoom in here a little bit to show you. From here to here, these are all gonna be used to test resistance in ohms. That's what that little orange omega sign is used for. So the ohms are gonna be tested and we're gonna leave it here at 200. You don't need to go to 2K, 200 is just fine. All right, so I'm gonna prop up the multimeter here so that you can see it. And I've changed the position of the motor a little bit to make it easier to hold. Now, when I plug my red probe into the red wire and the black probe into the black wire, we can see on the screen there, we're getting about just over two ohms, about two ohms. And that's normal, that's where it should be. Now every motor, like I said, is gonna be different. This is a pretty big motor, so having two ohms is normal for this motor. Now, on a different model, which I'm gonna show you next, we have the Golden Buzz Around Carry-On user manual, and a lot of the user manuals have technical breakdowns on how to test your products. Some manufacturers provide it, some don't. Golden Technologies here says, for the motor and brake assembly to test it, you wanna test internal resistance, and you should get 0.8 all the way up to 1.5 ohms. And that's gonna be the normal range of ohms. So let's grab that scooter and test it out. 
All right, so here is a buzz around carry on that we're working on. And I've got the same setting on my multimeter. We're set at 200 for checking ohms. We're checking the resistance. And here on the controller, you can see the M positive and negative, which is for the motor. So I know that if I connect my leads here, the battery is disconnected. You don't need the batteries. You can get in there, make sure that you're touching the metal, which is underneath the sleeve there. But if you make contact with the metal parts of those connectors and we look at our voltage or multimeter, we can see a reading of, it looks like one ohm, 0.91. So that's right in range. That's where it needs to be. Remember the user manual suggested that it should be between 0.8 eight and 1.5 ohms and that ladies and gentlemen is how you would check a motor to make sure that it's reading the right resistance as long as it's reading the right resistance your motor should be fine there are some other things that you could check if your motor's really really old it could just have bad grease in there that needs to be swapped out but at that point it makes more sense to just buy a new motor we carry replacement parts if you need them give our parts department a call Again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says Free Catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form, and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comments section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic. We love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.